Hello guys, what's up? I hope you'll be fine and good. I am Surush Designer. Today I want to talk about how we can model some DOM in SketchUp. This is not some simple tutorial, so please like and subscribe us. This video is really important for people who don't have any knowledge of SketchUp 3D modeling. So it's like the one simple workshop and I hope you enjoy this video and let's get modeling. So I have my SketchUp version here and the my the base picture in here some type of dumb or pre place something like that so i'm gonna start with the top of it so in this place we have three edges one two three and another edge actually at the other side and one two three one two three and one two we have eight passes in here so i'm gonna start my drawing with polygon so I'm going to select polygon in here, but before I'm going to change my unit. So I come to the window, model info, unit, convert it to the centimeter, and it's done. So now I need some polygon with eight sides. For this reason, I'm going to click on it and type eight on my keyboard and press enter. Now, as you can see, eight is set for us. Now I want to draw my 8 side polygon, very simple and easy, something like that, with some inscribed radius about maybe 300, it's good. Now I want to click on it, convert it to the group, use move option in here and hold it to this place. Now it's good. So now I want to work on uh, these type of details in here. I'm going to use offset option for the outlines. So I click on the offset option in here. I come on my face. And now I want to add some offset for it with some distance about, for example, 13. And use push or pull option for the extrude. I'm going to click on the uh, control on my keyboard. Now the copy extrude option is available for us so now i want to extrude my job something like for example 26 centimeter something like that as you can see and we have some type of arc in here it's very simple and easy don't worry about it we can use tape measure in here and i want to tape it about 40 centimeter from this side and 40 centimeter from this side so I'm gonna use two point arc in here and draw my arc about 56 I think it's good and now I want to delete all of my outlines and this is our main model in here alright now I want to use offset option in here we have some offset about 14 for example or 13 so uh, you can adjust it with push or pull option in here I'm going to extrude it a little bit something like maybe 24 and the floor of it about 4 for example it's good I want to save my file Control S so I'm going to start with the column drawing in here as you can see columns is one of the important elements in architecture so I want to model them very simple with high detail and high quality so for the first thing I need some components in here I'm gonna draw my line like this alright now I want to tape measure it or I can do it later but I want to tape measure it right now from this point about 40 centimeter and from the other about 40 centimeter again so I'm gonna use circle for my 3d column modeling and I'm gonna start with this point and my radius is about 33 and I want to click on it as you can see all of them has been selected but I don't need this type of selection so I can delete these extra lines in here I'm gonna select move option select my midpoint press ctrl take some copy of it in 
this place. But before this job, I'm gonna click on it and convert it to the component. And I want to type column for it and press create. Now I can copy it very simple and easy everywhere I want. As you can see, something like that. But the best way for copying these type of components in here is to copy rotate them very simple and easy. So we have this model in here and I want to connect it to this place or I can delete it and I want to delete this line in here I want to use line option and I want to draw some line like this from this edge to this point now I select my component I want to use copy rotate option in here I want to select the midpoint left click on it and I want to hold this place so we can take some copy of them very simple and easy with some numbers you want for example I take some copy of it and type 7x on the angle type and press enter as you can see seven component has been available for us in here so now I want to delete this line because we don't need it in here so I'm going to click on one of them and when I extrude all of them have been extruded solidly and it's really good so in this picture we have some columns with some details so I'm going to add these details very simple and easy so I'm going to use control on my keyboard now the plus item behind my mouse cursor is available so uh, I'm going to extrude it a little bit about 10 cm now I want to take some offset of it about 3 cm or 5 cm it depends on you for example I want to add 4 cm now I want to use extrude plus control on my keyboard again and add some another height for it about 6 cm and for the final I'm going to use offset again and draw some line about 6 cm and extrude it a little bit about the uh, 8 cm now it's good so uh, we can adjust it very simple and easy for example I'm going to click on it and create some face in here like this and now I want to draw these simple smooth profiles in here on my columns as you can see for this reason I'm going to use two point arc in here we have some type of classical columns in here so you can adjust it only with these type of units very simple and easy but be careful about the uh, red use of them sometimes the SketchUp is really sensitive for it so uh, I'm going to delete these extra lines in here I'm going to click on this face hold shift on my keyboard deselect this face so now we only have the passes I'm going to use one of the popular items in SketchUp called follow me option I want to click on the follow me and press it as you can see now we create these type of details on it, but I don't want to fit it with downstairs units so uh, I'm going to click on it and I can scale it but it's depend on the other side so I can use two point arc in here and add another arc like that and delete these extra lines in this place so uh, I'm going to deselect it follow me something like that now I want to extrude it another time but this time about maybe uh, something about 400 centimeter something like that it's really good and it's really cool so uh, another time I want to take some copy of this model in here only for it polygons as you can see and I can move it to adjust it in this place so uh, I think everything is done in here but we have some other jobs to do so uh, I'm gonna extrude it to the uh, upstairs and connect them to each other now I can delete these extras very simple and easy only with some clicks 
so uh, I'm gonna delete these extra lines too something like that and for the other time I'm gonna delete these lines and I think it's good and connect this line to this line alright now I think everything is good in here I want to press ctrl A and ctrl S sometimes your models will be get high data and it will take some of your RAM on your PC so you can click on the window model info statics and purge unused items or fix problems and now you can work with much high performance speed in here so uh, we have some type of arc lines in here but we don't know how we can model it at first I'm gonna delete these extra lines in here like that and now I want to extrude my face a little bit than the past something about 166 and now I want to use components again but I don't know how so for this reason uh, you can only use every faces with each other and I suggest to use this item so I'm gonna use tape measure in here something about 4e and another one is about 40 again so uh, the height of our arcs is about 134 or 116 now it's good so I'm gonna use two point arc in this place but it's a little bit too high for it so you can increase your distances very simple and easy I'm gonna change my distances alright I'm gonna change it for example about maybe I think something about 26 another 26 and for the uh, height of these something about 100 maybe it's good or 110 now I want to use two point arc in here and change it to the 90 now I want to click on it I'm gonna open paint bucket in here a 10t info I want to increase my segments to the 24 because I need smooth faces in here so I'm gonna select it now I can take some rotate copy of them how so I'm gonna come to this place hold my mouse on it and now the center point is selected for us and now I can take some equal copies in different faces like that now I need to only extrude them a little bit to the back side for example something about maybe a uh, for example 40 is good and I'm gonna add it for all of them as you can see it's really wonderful so uh, you can use offset option in here something like that about 4e and you can change it to the inside with the uh, inner extrude and call it 117 and delete these extra lines everywhere you see so I want to delete these extra lines and tape measures in here so I'm gonna click on it check it a little bit to the downside for example about 90 and now I can adjust my height something like that about 40 so now it's good I think so uh, I'm gonna draw some type of rectangle or sorry circle for it so I'm gonna select my circle and now I want to find my center point very simple and easy something like that and I want to add my radius about 240 and uh, now time for creating this type of DOM in here for this reason I'm going to use line option for the first our radius is about 240 so the height is something about for example 120 or maybe it's a little bit too low for it 200 is good or I can add the main number about 240 as you can see very simple and easy something like that so 
you can close it and create this type of face for it actually we have some type of dome with some special arc angle so I'm going to use two point arc in here and here and we have something like that I think so I'm going to add 17 for it close it select it deselect my face or you can delete it I only want to select my passes so I select my pass click on the follow me and press it as you can see something like that has been created in here but it's not or for this reason I can create some type of face in here and dimension is not important for us so uh, I'm gonna check it to the upstairs to this place a little bit high something like that for example and now I want to select these and these so I'm going to right click on it and click on the interface with model so now I want to delete this option in here and I can delete it very simple and easy and draw some line in here to fix it something like that you can continue this drawing until you reach to some type of good result in here but it's not necessary for us in this place something like that and the uh, logo of it totally it's not important I just want to say you can cut your volumes with the uh, intersection face now I want to add another type of things on my model uh, for example material I'm going to start my material with the cinder block and add it to my model and change the color or the uh, size of the texture something like that 86 I think it's good you can change it by the uh, coloring with the uh, picture very simple and easy and very useful so the columns have some regular color like that I'm gonna use color option in here for example color first one I want to open one of my columns and add this color to all of them so I want to near this color to my model so I'm going to use match color on the screen I'm going to click on it and select my color but it's not uh, working always good so I want to use this part of it something like that for example and the dome color is something like the metal I want to use metal option in here and for example this is our metal on here and this is the uh, color of it as you can see so this is the uh, final thing we can talk about about this tutorial I hope you enjoy it for the final I'm going to select these material to downstairs I hope you enjoy this video we create this type of symbol down in SketchUp under 10 minutes like and subscribe don't forget it and goodbye